Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network and Cisco Packet Tracer Tutorials for Beginner. Siobhas is here and today I want to talk about the port security, the technology that help us to provide the security on the layer 2 of OSI model in our networks. As you can see in this topology, we have one server, bunch of the PCs and the one switch. You can use any layer 2 or layer 3 switches. The Cisco switches are support the port security and let's connect our server to the switch. Let's connect FA0 slash 24 and the PC also I connect to the FA0 slash 1 and waiting the ports are coming. I assign the IP address on a server 192.168.0.1 slash 24 and then the PC is a dot 10 and I also tweak the MAC address on this machine for ease of use actually you can easily change the MAC address go to the config to the interface fast ethernet and change the MAC address as you know a media access control or MAC address is a unique identifier usually assigned by the manufacturer to the network interfaces for communication on the physical network segment that has got the 48 bit size and it works in almost IL, IEEE 802 networks technologies and includes the Ethernet here. When we do and perform the communication through our switch, our switch usually dynamically collect the MAC address information and store it to the MAC address table. You learned this in our previous videos. Let's check the communication from the PC to our server. Go to the PC. And first of all, use the IP config to make sure the IP is, is connect. And you also can use IP config slash all in any Windows machine to get additional information, includes the MAC address or physical address. And the IPv4 and v6 addresses are assigned to this machine. I start to ping, but before ping the server, I want to show you the MAC address table on the switch. I go to the switch okay let's bring the windows in the middle and enable and the show mac address table this is the command can help us to see the mac address table contents as you can see still i don't have any value in my mac address table in the switch let's go back to the pc and start to ping i start to ping I reply back easily without any problem and go back to our switch this time and issue the same command again show MAC address table this is the command you can see easier here okay and I go back and press enter this time I've got some entries in my MAC address table my switch learn dynamically the FA0 slash 24 is connect to the MAC address of our server all a all one and the FA0 slash one is dynamically learned and is connected to my PC MAC address which I tweak for easy show how it can collect the information all A's are assigned to FA0 slash one so sometimes you just want this specific machine is communicate through this port and in some security restricts company they don't want the employee bring their own machine and connect them to the network interfaces. So how we can protect our network against this kind of problem? We can go to the switch and in a global configuration mode interface FA0 slash 1 which I want to apply the port security port security command is switch port port security and I want to show you this error your interface of the switch must be in non-negotiation mode which means you must assign the role to the port interface as access or trying you learned in a previous video you just see this error I press enter and I receive the error is a command rejected because a fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 is in a dynamic port and couldn't use the port security how we can solve is very easy switch port mode access and now I use the arrow up arrow key the switch port port security now you generally turn on the switch port security on this switch it's time to 
set the port security on the interface switch port port security use a question mark and i got the maximum mac address and violation first of all i can set the maximum mac address except by the port or interface which means in case of the one of my user disconnect this cable from the pc bring his own switch and connect the port to the switch he cannot provide the communication more than one mac address through this interface so let's set our maximum mac address first maximum Ooh, yeah maximum mac address okay and i assign one to 132 mac address to this interface i assign one which means only allow one mac address through this interface okay i use a switch port port security mac address and question mark the option i've got here i can statically assign any mac address 48 bit mac address or i can use the keyword of sticky which dynamically assign the port address of current connected pc to the mac address table for the port security when your network is in a stable mode it's easy to use the sticky but assign because assigning the static mac address for each device in a network is a very hard works and is can time consuming action for a network admin i use the sticky and now I almost done my configuration for port security but let's take a look at the violation mode as well you have different violation mode as you can see these are the protect restrict and shutdown shutdown is a default action for the port security on a Cisco devices uh, which means to put the interface into the error disable mode in other words is the shutdown when the maximum number of the secure MAC addresses exit and also send the SNMB trap notification to your syslog on the device. The restrict and protect are less useful in the network, real network environment. I recommend you use a shutdown. The protect is actually drop the packets, but do not put the port in a shutdown mode. Restrict also is a like as a protect. It's drop packets uh, when the maximum number of the secure mac address exit or the is when the traffic is come from the unknown source addresses and also it's cause the security violation counter is increment okay i just leave it is this as a shutdown which is our default actually volition shutdown and press enter now let's use the control z and back and show port security status okay as you can see this is a port security port security max secure address is a one is apply on a fast ethernet zero slash one the current address count is zero and the security violation also zero let's use the show run and see how it works as you can see here we have our switch port mode as access port security as a general switch is turn on and the switch port security mac address is sticky so let's do the same thing again and see how our port security works i start to ping and go back to the switch and also again i use the show run and this time you can see our switch learn the sticky mac address and assign the pc0 mac address to our port and if i use the show port security you can see our current address is increased to one the security violation action is shut down by default and let's disconnect the cable from the pc and connect to another laptop with different mac address and waiting to the port is coming up as you can see the mac address for this laptop i changed to the old b for and to show the difference okay i'm waiting the port is coming up so what you guess when i start to ping when my switch detect the mac address in different way which set up on a interface it will immediately shut down the port and send the snmp trap notification okay port is green now i go to the laptop 
go to the command you just bring it the way you can see I start uh, use the IP config and to make sure slash everything is work fine yeah is a BBB and the ping 192.168.1 which is our server immediately when I press enter this interface goes to the error disable mode or shut down unfortunately the Cisco packet tracer doesn't show the error disable mode on a show IP interface brief it's only show is down but in real switches the status of your port is in error disable show interface interface fa0 slash 1 and oh yeah you can see here is a, it goes to the error disable mode on my fast internet is error disable now and what a great line again and let's go show port security and as you can see the security violation is count to one which means that the violation in happened and the interface is shut down how we can bring back the interface actually if I let's connect back to our original PC the port is not automatically coming up I need to go to the switch okay I go to the switch actually and interface FA0 slash 1 okay configuration first interface FA0 slash 1 shut down the port and no shut the port and then now use the show IP interface brief and see that my link is come back up and I'm waiting to the interface is coming up and I can continually ping my server back again this is the basic of the port security it can be very very helpful but just remember the user can use the Mac spoofing change the other machines MAC address exact same as your machine you just imagine if I change the MAC address of this laptop to all A it can work with this port security so you need other mechanism for providing the security in your network but as a basic layer 2 protection it's a very good solution for your environment let's try the PC1 again and I check I can ping again yeah easily I can ping back if uh, you want to see the maximum MAC address is also a very good idea uh, I do this test by bringing another switch in my work environment I connect this switch to the FA0 slash 10 for example to FA0 slash 10 and I bring it up let's connect this laptop to the FA0 slash 2 and delete this cable and connect this PC to FA0 slash 1 so as you guess now I I can ping my server from both machines both from the PC and the laptop because there is no maximum uh, port security MAC address on fast Ethernet zero slash one which are just connect uh, the new switch let's try from the laptop I can ping easily okay I can go to the PC and also can ping easily my server without any problem I'll go to the switch zero one and apply the port security on fast Ethernet zero slash ten okay global configuration mode interface FA0 slash 10 switch port mode access then switch port port security turn on the port security and switch port port security maximum MAC address is 1 and I also can assign the specific MAC address which MAC address can do the communication by default one of my machine will lose the communication to the server let's try which machine is that okay PC cannot ping but I think oh yeah this is this is this violation is happened actually the interface goes to the error disable mode immediately and as you can see line protocol interfaces change the state to down this is how 
the port security can help you to find where the problem is when it's shut down you can go to the specific room and find the, who do the violation for you if you find this video helpful please subscribe on our youtube channel and like our facebook group as well please send your feedbacks and comments to our uh, groups thank you very much we see you soon